Most Honorable Mrs. Juliet Holness, my friend Juliet. <laughs> Minister, Minister Babsy, Olivia Grange, Babsy, my friend, His Excellency, the Ambassador of Mexico, members of the Diplomatic Corps, representative from the Edna Mandley College, and let me other heads of agencies, councillors, I see Councillor Bellamy, and I see uh, Councillor Samuels and Councillor Shines Francis and Tasha Schwab. These are councillors from the Kelvin Clark is also here. Councillors from the municipality who this would not be possible if it weren't for their support in our policy. I'd like to also take this opportunity to big up a special group of artists. The, from the art evolution, where are they? I really want you to come forward for the audience to see you. I know you're all over, but I'm really appreciative of your work. Yes, one of these here. I really want them to come forward. I know Mrs. Oldest also wanted them to come forward because they have done a wonderful job here in the space. They came on board, they realized that the help was needed and that we wouldn't be able to finish this on time if they didn't get involved and to assist. And they really came out and they, they were here every single morning, 7 a.m. until midnight sometimes, just to ensure that we complete what, what we're going to see today. And I must say, this is what a city needs in order to grow. And I'm really appreciative of what you what you have done, and appreciative of the characteristic traits that you have demonstrated for the city. Thank you very much. There is I'm missing someone though. Where is Lifechild? But there is also it's this Tavia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not seeing Tavia. Yeah. Tavia has been one of the main artists along with the with Irving painting i'm not seeing her but big up yourself anywhere you are the city appreciates it very much yes. over the next two years kingston is expected to welcome over 25,000 visitors by a cruise ship Chips. 10,000 of these are projected to be during this year alone. Just to put it into perspective, Kingston's stopover arrivals increased by an average of 4.2% annually. For 2018, the increase was 18,668 persons, according to the Jamaica Tourist Board. From cruise ships alone coming into Kingston, into the Kingston Harbor, we will have more than 50% of that growth already secured without the inclusion of arrivals via the Norman Manley International Airport. The Florida Cruise Association did a study over an eight month period and estimated that cruise ship visitors at each stop in Jamaica spent an average of 111.82 US dollars. That is an average that is an average of 16,000 Jamaican dollars. This means a possible 160 million Jamaican dollars will be pumped into the economy of the city over the course of this year from the arrival of cruise ships in Port Royal. And this is very conservative. This is big. The vendors in Port Royal will tell you how much they benefited in January when the Marabella Discovery 2 arrived. The city was brought back to life. Port Royal was no longer just fish and festival. 
real economic activity is taking place there for the first time over, centu over a century. We must broaden this investment and begin to position ourselves, our city and our youth for changes that will be coming. This is uncharted, uncharted waters for Kingston, but we will navigate it well. We will grow, increasing stopover arrivals by 5%, over 5% for the first time. That is in the vision. So entrepreneurs, businesses, artists, or youth performers can all benefit. Everything we do is a small piece of the puzzle. The Ward Theater, Culture Keys murals, the Waterfront, Miss Lou Square, Crossroads, World War, World War Memorial, the Arborview Stopover, all of what we're doing is pieces fitting into the puzzle of a new Kingston. Diversifying the economy of the city, becoming a destination city. It is no small undertaking and not something we will fully realize in four years. Since becoming mayor of this city, we have taken on one challenge and one project at a time. I am still believing that we can be the light of the Caribbean, see the pearl of the Antilles and a major player on the Latin American landscape. At, at I close, we have said for us the light of the Caribbean is important to us. Because for us being the light of the Caribbean means that we are producing a generation of young people that whose intellect are of such that they can take on the urban challenges confronting cities and provide solutions to them. So we want to create a generation of problem solvers a generation of young people that are providing solutions to the many and varied challenges confronting cities across the globe. We are the pearl of the Antilles because we are this city rich in culture, rich in history, creative. We are this city that's nurturing the creativity of our young people. I close by saying, and I've used it repeatedly, but it is very important. That when you construct a bridge, you will bring all the art sciences into play to construct a bridge. You use mathematics, calculations, measurements. But as I said, the, the concept of a bridge, not the construction of the bridge, the concept of a bridge is not found in the art sciences. The concept of a bridge is found in the arts. It is that deep creativity that is placed within us by our faith. And it's our nurturing of this creativeness within deep in us. Deep within us. The imagination, the imaginative faculties that make for solutions. And that is what is our major task and vision as a city is to create this generation of young people whose imaginative faculties are so developed that there would be no challenge, no problem that as a city we cannot find a solution. So this project today is part of the transformation of the city of Kingston. It is a small piece of the puzzle, but it speaks to a wider concept. It speaks to the wider concept of the coordination between ministries and agencies in solving problems and in transforming our city. I must here say commendation to Minister Grange and the Minister of Culture for this partnership and also to enjoy to that the embassy, the Mexican embassy. Minister Grange and the ministry has been a really committed partner to the municipality. This project would not be without the input of the Ministry of Culture and Minister Grange. 
For me, it's very difficult to speak of the Ministry of Culture without Minister Bridge, and that's the truth. So, Minister, please, our commendation, our thanks, we know that there are many more projects ahead of us. We appreciate all that you have done, and we appreciate the Ministry and the, and the, the staff and their cooperation and coordination with us. We look forward to many more projects. Minister Graves, I'm finishing now. Minister Graves and I have a very complex relationship. And I have to say, because that relationship is what is making the, the city of Kingston come alive. Minister Grange, the minister wants to teach me everything about how I should protect myself, how I should lead the city, and some deep things that that bears out of experience. The challenge the minister has is when I put those training into practice, at times it conflicts with the minister. <laughs> and what minister, my deep appreciation for your guidance, your leadership, and your friendship. Bigger than that, your friendship. And I must say, that I'm talking a lot on it, but it's important to me because there are many projects going ahead and if it weren't for the leadership of the Minister and the Minister of Culture which is tied into a lot of what we do here in the city in terms of culture and history that a lot wouldn't happen and so please let us continue to work together and, and make it happen I must also say again thanks to the Mexican Embassy for approaching us and I must say thank you, Minister, for, for hinting to the ambassadors here that the space is open the space, because we want to transform the space into an international muralized space where cities from across the globe will, will give as gifts their creativity in this space to the city of Kingston. And we say thanks for this gift from the people of Mexico. And we anticipate the, the gift coming from the UK, from Nigeria, from Germany, from Spain, from France, and from other countries across the continent, Europe, Africa, North America, South America. I just spoke to the mayor of Belize City, and they are willing to get on board. Because in the end, this space should be a recreational space of interest, providing leisure, and, and, and allowing our residents and visitors to interact with the space, interact with our culture, interact with our history. Let us all transform Kingston into what we want it to be. Over 300 years ago, refugees, persons left Port Royal because of, a de of the devastation of Port Royal. They, they came to Kingston to reside, to build a city, to build a new home. They came here believing. I say to our ancestors, 300 years plus, simple people, simple administrators, simple mayors, simple councillors, simple ministers, and simple government officials and people are still believing. Thank you very much.